morning. Good morning, good Margaret morning. Barber. Good morning. How are you? I'm very good. This morning, welcome to AARP's Art with the Armory. I'm Ann Hales with AARP Alabama. And as always, we have Margaret Barber, who is the art program coordinator at the Armory Learning Arts Center. Thanks so, for having us, Ann. And, and thank you, everybody, for joining us. Each month, we work with the Armory Learning Arts Center in Montgomery, Alabama, to bring you fabulous art projects that you can do at home. The artists from the Armory show you the supplies you'll need and demonstrate the whole process. So then you can decide if that's something you would like to try or tell your friends about so that they can come and watch the video. We provide the classes like these and others on health and nutrition, um, just informational on fraud. Um, we have one coming up on disasters and we will show you all of those at the end of this broadcast. But in the meantime, uh, we'll, we'll go into what we're gonna do today. Um, doing arts and crafts is just a great way to explore your creative side, manage stress, and who doesn't need that these days, right? Yeah. You know? yeah. So be sure you can refer to these videos anytime on AARP's Facebook page under the video tab or find it on AARP Alabama's YouTube channel. Now, this is AARP Alabama's channels and each state and the national have, have their own pages and channels too. So look for the AARP Alabama Facebook page or YouTube channel. Um, Margaret, I can't mm -hmm. wait to tell, to talk about this one and to really see it because this one is a, it's a fun one. It is uh, very popular today. So tell us what we're working on this yeah. morning. Um, uh, local artist, Laura Saucer, um, will be demonstrating how to use alcohol inks on glassware. Um, it's when she was, talking about possibly teaching a class for us, just talking about painting. And then I saw one of these cups, I'm like, whoa, 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 we gotta, we gotta see that. So um, it's really, it's beautiful. It's, it's not hard to do and it creates some really stunning effects. Um, the colors that you choose really individualize your artwork. Um, so yeah, and, and it could be a little bit of an investment if you wanted, but, but she also, focuses on how to keep it um, inexpensive. So Laura does a nice job with that. And she's not gonna be able to join us today. So if you guys have questions, um, just type them in the comments and either she'll answer them on Facebook or we can, I can try to answer. I believe I can answer most of the questions. So. Okay, great. Yeah, and she, and she can come back and answer them. And we can also get your questions to her um, put them in the chat and, and we can make sure that she sees that if, if that's something yeah. that we that that um, Margaret can't answer. But but sh you have seen the whole process. So I bet you can do a lot of this. It's really fun. It looks like fun. So let's get started. Let me pull up yep. the video and I have forgotten. I, let me let me see if I can grab it from this file. Let me pull this up. Hi, I'm Laura Saucer. I am basically a jack of all trades, master of absolutely none. Um, I've been a nurse for many years and was in the Air Force and then retired. And I had to have ankle surgery a few months ago and was looking for yet another hobby to take some of my time away from me while I'm convalescing. I had been looking at some YouTubes and found these really cool glasses that you could make on a cup turner and some other things. And I said, I would like to try that and I can do it sitting down. Starts out with a glass like this and you end up with a glass like that. And I was like, yeah, I want to do that. Let's go over the supply list. That's one of the things that's important when you do any arts and crafts or any art form is picking your supplies and what works for you because everybody is different. Initially, until I felt comfortable doing this, I did not want to invest a lot of money in my supplies. So I started out with a very cheap cup turner, which is here, and it does exactly what it says, turns the cup. And you can see it turns the cup at a slow rate. You don't want it to go fast, but this is all it has to do. So I purchased this through a company that everybody knows that delivers boxes everywhere. The other items you will need are cups. Glass cups are the best. You can get them at many different places. Just look around and I pay no more than probably $2 for a glass. 
I've gotten them at, even at a thrift store. You need rubbing alcohol to clean things and you also will need at least a 91% alcohol. That used to be difficult to find initially when the COVID was around, but now it's much easier to find. I have placed my 91% alcohol into a container and I can spray the alcohol onto my items easy, with a little more ease using this. You will also need, the most important thing, your alcohol inks. There are so many different brands. You can buy them at arts and crafts stores. You can buy them through the mail. They don't go too cheap. It's like paint or anything else you use. If you go too cheap, you're gonna get what you buy. So go with the more, not expensive, expensive, mid-range brand. And the ones I'm using today are Ranger. These are Rangers and I really have liked them. They do very well. I will show you one and I probably shouldn't say something negative about it, but this was a cheaper one and I'm not as happy with how it works. It's too dilute and it doesn't do as well. So you will need your alcohol inks. There are some other items you can buy. You can buy your little gold alcohol ink, basically what it is. And it usually has a ball in it because you'll need to mix it to mix the gold particles that are in here. And then you will also need, sometimes people like to use a mixative. And it also has a ball in here and you have to shake it to make sure it mixes up the solution because it's a little more thick and it doesn't move as freely as your alcohol inks do. You can also get extenders, which will allow you to extend the working time. I have not purchased them. They're a little more expensive and alcohol, the 91% does almost the same thing for me. And so I've only used that, but there are different brands that you can find of the extenders, kind of like when you use an acrylic paint and you can add an extender and it works more like an oil paint. For sealing, when you're done with this, I did not want to seal mine with something I had to don, a gas mask and all this other stuff. I did that in my Air Force career. I didn't want to do it again. And after looking at many YouTube videos, a way to seal it without having to don a respirator. Hamar varnish, and you can find this at hardwood stores or art and craft stores, anywhere almost. It's by Krylon, and you'll be using this. I had to order this because it's not in stores. And this is the second coat you'll apply. It's called Bright Tone High Solids Top Coat. And I got the clear gloss because I like a clear gloss. And so this will also be something you'll need to seal the glasses once you're done. And it needs to be purchased online. And I am one mother of invention and I made this cute little stand here. It's styrofoam and poles that I got at a hardware store. And then if you look, I have like a football from one of the bargain basement stores and I hot glued it on but it didn't stick but it really didn't matter. So I turn a clear cup upside down. I take it outside because this you do have to take outside. I use a Rust-Oleum Ultra Cover Primer and Paint and I usually do white. It makes it easier and I do the um, satin finish. I like the satin finish a little better. It usually takes a couple of coats. You don't want to do it on a humid day but you'll get a nice finish for applying your alcohol inks to it. And this stand just allows them to dry. And then once they're dry, you can take them off. I usually let them dry about 24 hours before I try to use them on the turner and put the alcohol ink. I do wanna show you this one, which I did with, can, with a um, paint that is made for glassware. It's just the Art Deco paint that you get in the craft, uh, craft store, and but it's made for glassware and I did it and then I baked it in the oven to seal it onto the glass because if you don't do that it will peel off when you start using your alcohol ink and your alcohol. So I sealed it in the oven and on the bottle that you buy of the Glass Deco Art Paint will tell you exactly how to seal it but you need to get the one that's either for mixed media or for glassware. Okay, so I've talked about the inks, I've talked about how we're gonna seal it, I've talked about the cups we're using, I've talked about the cup turner. One other thing that you can purchase to use when you're doing this project and use it for other things is a heat gun, 
but mostly we're using this just to move the alcohol ink and to dry it maybe a little bit quicker. And I got the cheapest one I could get, so it only has one setting and one speed. So it works for me, so I'm gonna use it until I find something else. If you don't wanna buy that, you can actually use a straw to blow your ink around. It works well. But a heat gun like this comes in handy if you do any watercolors to dry it, and it's not expensive. I think I paid $10 for this. Actually, you know what? It came with the set I bought. So look for the one, the set that you buy that comes with this. The set also came with this neat handy tool. So when I take off a cup off my turner, I can prop it up and let it dry. All right, so I painted my cups. I've waited about 24 hours for them to dry. Before I painted them, I cleaned them very well and I used alcohol to clean them off even more to get the grease and the fingerprints off of them and it's funny because when you're cleaning them you can use the cheaper alcohol so I have like 71 percent outdated alcohol I've been using to clean my cups then you position it on your cup turner and this cup turner has been abused if you notice I have lots of stacks under here and I will put them on top here so it catches all my drips because I make a mess. I'm very messy. Anything I do is messy. So I put it underneath here to catch my drips because you will have lots of drips when you're doing this. And it's okay because that's how you get the pretty effects that you're gonna get when you do the alcohol ink on the cup. Picking your colors is all about whatever you like. I had to think outside the box every once in a while to have friends, like I have a guy friend that I wanted to send one to, so I wanted a little more masculine one, and I wish I could remember what I used on this one, but I can't. But I think I used one of the brown colors and obviously gold and red and turquoisey. But just get colors you like and play with it. The best thing about this is if you don't like what you have on your cup, you take your 91% rubbing alcohol, spray your bottle down, wipe it, and you can start again. The other thing that's nice is when you're doing this, if you let it dry between layers, you can layer more colors and get more intensity on your colors if you like that. So I'm gonna start off just cleaning my cup off, making sure it's degreased with my cheap old alcohol. And um, I usually use old paper towels and napkins and things like that that people get in the fast food restaurant stuff because I can't stand throwing them away. So that's what I do. Now, when you're doing this, you could use painter's tape and tape off a portion if you don't want it to go all the way up the cup. I'm always leery of doing that because I I just like the look and I'm messy, so I bring it all the way up to the edge. But if you like a little more cleaner edge and you want it to go down, just take a little piece of painter's tape and apply it before you do anything else. But I'm not. I'm going to do it the old-fashioned way where I just make a mess. So the next thing you do is turn on your cup turner. Got my alcohol. So you notice I'm putting a whole bunch on. But I want it really wet. And then comes the fun. Okay, so I'm going to start this one. I think I'm going to do, this is amethyst. I'm going to shake it a little bit. And it's just going to do a couple of drops. And it doesn't really matter where. Just put them where you think you want them. And as you see, the cup turner moves it around. And the rubbing alcohol, that 91% alcohol I have, is also moving it around. I spritzed it just to get a little more movement. Okay, I already like that. So I'm gonna come in with another color, and I think I'm gonna do, this is called Patina, and this is a Ranger alcohol ink. So I'm gonna try a couple colors of this. Let's see what I get here. Ooh, kinda like it. The nice thing about this, you can add, you can cover the whole cup and have it solid, or you can leave some white areas if you want. And you can see the colors are already blending. Oh, I really like this one. I haven't done one like this yet. Really happy with it already. Okay, so if it kind of stops moving, which it will, you get your heat gun and move the ink around. You can move it up, you can move it down, wherever you want to move it. Okay, and you see all the patterns you can get when you're moving it around. Oh man, you know, I never got this lucky the first time with any of the ones I've done before, but I'm getting lucky on this one. Okay, if it starts to dry, I add a little more alcohol to it, which also changes the look on it, but I'll add more layers. So I'm gonna add some more of my amethyst 
and I'm going to go a little higher on the cup with it this time and a little lower and then in between I'm going to go back in with my patina and I have yet to add a one of one of my golds or something with a more of a metallic look but I really do want to add some metallic to most of my cups I just think it makes it look a little fancier and finished polished more maybe is a good way to put it okay and I'm tending to see I have a whole lot of purple in some areas so let me move it around again move it up and move it down here a little bit oh man I do like this I don't mean to be Okay, this is looking better than I thought it would. Okay, I'm going to spritz a little more just to get it moving more. You can use that extender to do what I'm doing with this 91% rubbing alcohol. When you put the extender on, it's got alcohol in it and it will allow it to keep moving more. And as you can see, it's making the colors dilute a little bit, but it also allows you to move them again. And you just do your, gun, your movement wherever you want it. Ooh, this is very subtle and pretty, I think. Okay, and now I'm going to add, I think I need a little more of my patina. And then I'll probably add my gold soon. I may make this a kind of a lighter cup. But what I could do is let this dry and keep adding more layers to make it thicker, just depending on the look I want. It's just all about what you like, not what I like, what you like. You can keep going, you can stop, you can add, you can subtract. I also like when, I will just, let me do a trick here. Go up above it and let it drop down, like more like, you see the little cells, kind of like when you do, see the cells that are coming out right now? Can you see them where there's blotches of where there's no ink? But as it turns, it'll change it a little bit. So just keep playing. Okay, now I'm gonna get excited and add my gold. <laughs> you don't wanna do too much because too much gold looks doesn't look right. So you wanna sparingly add your gold. Okay, and let's see what happens and we can add more of the colors if we want. So I've just done little dots. I'm going to let the turner spin it and the turner will allow it to, as you see, make lines and kind of migrate around the cup. But if it needs a little bit of help, you got your trustworthy. Okay, and as you can see, my gold, sorry, let me turn this off. My gold is not moving like I need it to. So guess what it's going to get hit with? My alcohol. And let's see what happens then. Okay, let's see if it moves it some. And what happens? Let's see. Okay, we're getting a whole different look again. This is what's fun about this. You never know what you're going to end up with. But I like it. Oh, yeah. Yes. Okay. Okay, I'm going to let this turn. You know, it's funny. I overwork things a lot of times. I'm going to try not to do that on this one because I'm really liking, you can see the darker lines. You can see the gold has kind of migrated all around the cup. I'm going to try not to keep doing too much more to this. I have some white spaces up here. I'm going to try to isolate and kind of put just a little of the alcohol, the 91% up around the rim. And this is where if you would prefer to have a clean rim, that's where you can add your painter's tape and keep it cleaner. And I think I'm going to do the green at the top just to see what happens. And then I can move it again with my, if I need to. And let's see what happens now. Okay, I see where it's not moving right. So when it doesn't move right, I get a little of my alcohol and help it move. If you need to prod it along, just give it a little squish, squish. Sounds terrible. 
All right, so what do you all think? I think it's turning out pretty good and I'm not going to do too much more to it or I'm going to mess it up. And that's my name, mess it up. I really like it. So you'll leave it on this cup turner for a little while because it will continue to move the colors and when it gets dry enough then you can stop the cup turner take it off and then it needs to dry at least 24 hours before we start the sealing process. But I'm going to let it turn for a little bit. Alright, so I've let it turn a little bit longer and I've hit it with my dryer to try to dry it a little bit more. It probably could stand the turner a little bit longer but for demonstration purposes, I'm going to take it off. If I find there's areas that I want to add to, I can add later. If I want to take it off, I can take off later. The nice things, until you seal this, you can change things up. I mean, I, I, I'm really happy with the way it looks. And I wasn't showing you very well, but when you move it, you'll be moving it any direction you want. The paint will move freely as long as it's still wet or you use the alcohol to move it. I'm going to take this, turn the current turner off, and I'm going to show you how I remove the cup from the turner and leave it on the stand. So there's a little screw here that undoes, undoes, where are you from? I'm not really from Alabama. And you just take it, because you really can't set it down. And this cute little thing has this glorious little tripod it came with. So then I can just set it until it dries on my little tripod. And that's how you can keep going with it. Now I do want to show you something else quickly to show you what else you can do. Okay, I'm going to use this cup that I use the Deco Art Paint on just because I got it here and it's easy to use. You're supposed to have a gloved hand. I hate gloves. I'm going to tell you right now, I don't like gloves. I'm a nurse and I'm bad about you. I use my gloves when, don't worry, I use them when I'm nursing, so don't worry. But when I paint, I don't. Okay, so if you don't have a cup turner, guess what can be your cup turner? Your hand. So, I'm going to paint more or less just the bottom of this. And if you wanted to take a paintbrush, which I'm not going to do today, you can take a paintbrush and do this with a paintbrush. We're going to try a different color. Let's see what happens. All right, I'm going to have to have my trustworthy assistant open it up because I didn't open it. You know, you're supposed to open up everything before you start. So, let's see what happens when I just rip it and turn it myself. And it will do the same thing. But you got to turn it yourself. So I may end up wearing a lot of this. So, but you have more flexibility. You can turn it any way you want. Okay, so this color I'm using is the indigo, which was one of my favorite ones before. But now that I've been playing with other colors, I like trying other colors. Okay, I have yet to hit it with the gun, and I may not. And this is called, are you ready for it? This is flamingo. But what I am going to hit it with is my alcohol and see what happens then. So like I said, you don't have to have a cup turner. If you don't want to invest in one, you can make a mess like me and do it with just your hands. It's a little harder because you can't see around your hand very well. But you just keep playing with it, moving it around, moving it here and adding paint, taking it away. Yeah, I'm messy. Woo! I'm messy. Okay, I'm not as happy with these colors, but well, we never know what we're going to get until the very end. Kind of looks like coral there going on. I'm going to add a little bit of gold to this one and see what happens. See if I can get something going I like. But guess what? If I don't like it, what am I going to do? Spray it. Oh, wait a minute now. See? All it takes is some little something that you do. I am going to try something else too here. I'm going to get this fixed. Okay. Okay, I'm going to let her shake it because it's really important that you shake these things up. Okay, I'm going to hit this with a little bit of this, but I'm not going to hit it with a lot because I'm kind of liking what's going on here. Now, this is a mixative. The mixatives do not move as freely. So when you put these on, you're going to get, as you can see, a whole different look. But sometimes it's kind of nice to have it. They don't move as much, but they add a different dimension to your color. So I'm glad I pulled this out just to show you. Can you see this? 
and if I hit it with a little bit of the extender, which is not really an extender, but the alcohol is an extender, it's going to mix a little differently. Once you add white, always remember like when you're painting, adding white is going to change your colors. And you, it's hard to go back when you've added the white. So just know when you add white, you can't go backwards unless you wipe it all the way off. But I like it. I'm liking it. So I may be happy after all. But guess what, if I'm not, what am I gonna do? Spray it down and start again. So I need to add a little more color over here. So I'm gonna spray it a little bit. I'm gonna add more. And I like the flamingo and the indigo turning purple. Okay, so I'm gonna add some more here. Because I wanted to show you the fact that you could do it without a cup turner if you're not ready to invest in one. But once again, I'm making a big old mess. But can you see how pretty that's turning out now? I'm really surprised how good this is turning out. Oh, look at this over here. I'm sorry, I get excited when something works. Oh! Margaret's seen me in the realm of pottery, and you should watch me get excited when pottery works. Woo! Oh, look at this. This is really turning out different and cool. Not anything I anticipated. And the green is still kind of, okay, I'm going to try this just because this is demo purposes. Let's see what happens when I do this. So we have cups that I did earlier, and I sealed them with this Kamar varnish. I think I put four coats. I'm pretty sure I put four coats. But you want to get a good layering, but you want it 30 minutes apart. You're supposed to wait 48 hours before you do this next step, but eh. Now we get to come to the fun part, the sealing it so then you can give it away or try to sell it or, you know, most of mine are gonna go as gifts, I'm just gonna tell you. Some people will leave it at this. I'm not willing to, I'm gonna go ahead and give it that final coat. So I got the Bright Tone, you order it online. It's kind of expensive. I've just poured out a little bit in a cup and it it's kind of medium viscous, kind of like watered down jello and I'm gonna use my finger, but you can use like something like this and dip it in and spread it on. You have to apply, this is the bad part, six coats for, as I sling it over my shoulder, four hours apart. Put it on your cup turner, take your finger, and you just do this. It's not complicated. So you just take your finger and paint it, and I like my finger because I can feel where I haven't gotten it. So you just keep going until you've got it coated with your finger, and I'm doing the bottom also, because I got paint on the bottom, but this way you can see it because it makes it shinier. And so when you know you've coated it all, that's your coat, and then you wait four hours and do another coat, wait four hours and do another coat, wait four, so until you've got a total of six coats. But it's not hard to do water and soap cleanup on this, and then your cups are pretty durable. Well, my finger tells me it's all coated, and look, I hardly used any of it. So this container, which was about $35, maybe a little more, um, will last me forever. I've enjoyed doing this. I hope you guys try it and see if you like it and let me know how you enjoy this. Take care. God bless y'all. Bye-bye. Uh, that was wonderful. Um, I'm trying to unmute you, Margaret. Can you unmute your mic? Sorry about that. No, I was trying to do it. Wouldn't do. So yeah. I, that looked like a lot of fun. And now Dorothy yeah. has asked a question. Could you use a blow dryer? I think you probably could. It would probably, um, I think the heat gun blows at a, a lower uh, volume and a lower heat. But you could probably put a blow dryer on a low speed and also, um, you know, just a cooler temperature. Yeah. Yeah. I would think that use what you got at home. Yeah. That, that just um, looked really pretty. You had, yeah. uh, you were talking about the alcohol evaporation. Yeah. Too. Um, I had, the question I had was, you know, obviously alcohol ink would, it, I noticed that Laura was real careful to uh, put the lids back on. And yes, she assured me that, yes, you need to put the lids back on um, because they do, that alcohol will evaporate and those inks are, are not cheap. Um, 
I never understood exactly how much her inks cost, but I would bet that one ink would be probably four or five bucks, maybe a little more than that. Um, and then um, also another question I had was that it was um, the white that she initially paints the cup with. Um, wouldn't the alcohol rub the white paint away? And she said, no, once it had cured on there for 24 hours, you don't want to like scrub the white uh, paint with the alcohol. But but if you're just rubbing it gently, it should it should stay on. So those are a couple of things that I was just thinking about because I'd love to try it. I think it'd be a fun, a fun project. I think that'd be fun. And I'm glad that she showed how you can do it without the turner. Yes, you with know, your hand. With your hand. And I imagine turning it up and down and all, you know, you get all yeah. kinds of different things. So yeah. that is, yeah. yeah, this is something that I am definitely gonna, going to try. I may not get the turner first. I may try to just do right. it with a few things. The, mm -hmm. um, the alcohol, it looks like, even though it might be a little bit of, a, a, of an investment to begin with a few things, it looks like um, it will last a long time as long right. as you keep the top on it because it should use very little. Yes. Yeah. And the alcohol, um, the alcohol inks, I think Laura also does some painting with alcohol inks on um, a special paper, like a UFO paper and stuff. So you can use those alcohol inks for other painting projects. You wouldn't have to just use them for this. So. Great. All yeah. right. So everybody, I hope that you had fun today. Please, please check out things that are going on at the art at the Armory Learning Arts Center. Margaret, you have some events coming up there. Yep. Um, I know. Um, and yeah, you all that's on your share website. This? Yeah, go ahead and share what you have coming up. Um, well, next month on Art with the Armory, um, we'll have uh, Heather Parrish. She's a local um, artist who has a little shop down the road from us, uh, Consignment Gallery. She'll be doing, she'll be talking about art journaling and she'll also do some art while she's talking about the emotional um, health of journaling. Um, we also will have in November, we've got Sally Chambliss coming back with us and she's going to do, I think, a mixed media piece. And then in December, we're going to have Danae uh, doing some Christmas ornaments. So I think those are going to be fun and, and something that we'll all enjoy. But, um, so yeah, we've got a few things. We've got our new fall calendar is out with all the new classes. We've got tons of new classes for all ages. So we'd love for y'all to look them up. Great. Okay. Well, in in the meantime, yeah, look up everything that you can find on the art on the Armory Learning Art Center on their website. You can always go back to ARP Alabama's Facebook page and YouTube pages to look at these and the ones we have done before, as well as other classes that are um, that 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 we have. Uh, we have a couple other questions. Let me ask. Oh, okay. uh, Deborah asked if can you use larger glasses or case yeah. size glasses? Yes, I would think you could use whatever size glass you want. You would just have to adjust the foam that you would slide the cup onto, or either you might have to put something around your hand to accommodate. You just want you want the cup to fit on your hand or the cup turner. So yeah, I would think you could use whatever size glass you want. Okay, great. Mm -hmm. um, well, we will leave you till next time. Next, uh, it is the second Wednesday of the month at 10 o'clock. Mm -hmm. We'll see you mm -hmm. next time for art journaling. Please stay with us for just a couple more minutes. Yes. We have a very short video to show you of upcoming events um, with AARP Alabama. Mm -hmm.